my colleague Leon yeah. Bibb, and really it's just part of an exciting week here in the city of Cleveland. Oh, we've got it rocking and rolling all over <laughs> Cleveland, John. I mean, it is a very exciting week. I want, you to, I want you to know that things are really underway in a big way for the preparations to put on that week-long celebration and induction ceremony. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the city of Cleveland are working together very much like a good rock group. They've got the rhythm, they've got the rhyme, and they've got that beautiful bass line underneath, if you know what I'm talking about. At Cleveland Public Hall, where the induction ceremonies will be held, the big push is on. The music world will be attuned to Cleveland and all that rocks and rolls. Public Hall will have an audience of 7,400 people, but the world will be watching through television. This is big stuff for the rock and roll capital of the world, Cleveland. Inside this building will be tributes to all forms of rock, from rhythm and blues to soul to hard rock. The Rock Hall and the city of Cleveland are working as a nicely harmonized duo. You see these, you know, the camera started to take place, the stage being set up. It's an incredible orchestration of, of HBO, of our, uh, our own production people, of camera people, of talent recruiters, of all these people that bring in the artists. So it's, it's a pretty uh, big deal. The difference here in New York is that we do allow the public in, and we do have a week of events leading up to the induction. So it's a community event for us. I want you to know that Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson also said that Cleveland could not buy this kind of public relations that we're going to get because the entire world, especially the rock and roll world, will be looking. In many ways, Cleveland will be the rock and roll center of the universe, but you and I know it's the capital of the world, but of the universe, that's how big we're going to be. Of course, as Smokey Robinson and the Miracles would say, ooh, baby, baby, as Little Richard would also say, good golly, Miss Molly, and as the Beatles would certainly sing it, we've got a whole lot of shaking going on. Shake, twist, and shout, said the Beatles. I bet they're all saying those kinds of things because we've really got it rocking. By the way, at 6 o'clock, I'm going to be handling our newscast anchoring duties on our 6 o'clock broadcast from right here from the library and the archives of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here on the campus of Cuyahoga Community College. I'm Leon Bibb. Let's go back inside. That was great, Leon. Cleveland rocks, and we're really going to be rocking this week. <laughs> Take full advantage of it, too. Yes.